Hey guys, NV2095, and today I'm bringing you another Call of Duty commentary, this time playing some TDM on Prison Break, using the Remington, and as you can tell, you see the Remington stats, the Remington is the gun I'm going to be talking about in this video, and uh, it's something something new, I'm going to tell you guys how to use how to use this gun, uh, what it's good for, and some of the best stuff so you could possibly have on it. So, in this match, I uh, actually am using the Muzzle Break and the Red Dot on, obviously, the Remington, I have Body Camera Camo on it. Which is my favorite camo I put on all my guns as of right now. I don't have any other really, really good camos, but it's a solid gameplay. But so the Remington is obviously an assault rifle. It's one of it might. It, I think it it definitely is the best assault rifle. I don't know why I was thinking because obviously in competitive, a lot of people use it. They use only the best stuff, and so the Remington is definitely the best assault rifle. Uh, it's really good at medium and long range. Short range gets a little iffy. If you're good, you can outgun people. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how well. I mean, it's not always going to be best, especially if they have a SMG, like an MTAR or something. You're not going to win the gunfight as long as they're good and you're good. S somebody win. The SMG will normally win if everybody's equal. Like if you're better, you're you probably win. So that's good. And in medium and long range, you will normally beat everybody at medium range, no matter what gun you're using. Uh, and then long range, you will obviously not do the best with the sniper. Uh, snipers obviously dominate long range like if you're really really far away then you you don't really have much of a chance especially if they see you first you're done and so I like to use it on like not like the giant maps but uh so like no um what's a what's map I guess whiteout whiteout's pretty big that's that's a map I don't like to use it on and so I like using it on like medium sized map like Octane Warhawk and Sovereign Sovereign's really good because it has those long hallways and there's some spots you don't like to do it, so Sovereign's not n not always the best to use it on. But if you sit in like the long hallways, uh, then you're pretty good. If you uh, on Octane, it's it's pretty much dominated by ARs. I mean, their snipers obviously can do really well, but ARs tend to do the best, especially if you're playing a, a more objective game mode. So you'll be pretty good with that. Warhawk, it's um. There's there's alleys there's three alleys in that map and you can usually pick off people as it they're not too far that a sniper can easily pick you off as long as you can outgun them first if you see them first and they pull the trigger then that's just it's gonna happen but sometimes it's it'll just be better if you uh if you take those long hallways you don't want to get any close combat because it'll be really difficult so my favorite attachments my favorite attachments for it are the red dot and grip uh the grip it just kind of stays it helps at shorter distance the muzzle break is it's all right it's long distance it makes it supposed to make it more accurate i've always used the grip my favorite is the grip and the red dot red dot is pretty much standard on a lot of guns in this game because they're not the sights aren't always the best but like some smgs you don't want to use it on like mtar and stuff like that but so red dot and you can actually for at least competitive the best stuff you always want to use so you pretty much you can replace the grip with a muzzle break for some really long range maps I don't like to do it I you normally keep the grip but it's up to you if you if you feel you like it and then you can also replace the red dot with a thermal uh, I personally don't like the thermal I feel like my shot kicks up more with it but that's that's just up to you if you feel like you can do it then yeah sure but you can I mean also you can switch the sights out and those are those are basically the sights or the attachments I like to use on that gun uh, I feel like they obviously, I mean, they're obviously picked for a reason. They're really good together, and the grip just steadies the gun. The red dot makes it easier to see. The normal sight's not the greatest. So the perks, in this, I don't know in this game if I'm doing it for sure, but the perks I, like, always have to have are definitely focus. You always have to have focus on, no matter what gun you're using. Focus is the key. You're welcome. Focus is the key. Um, but, so I use focus, ready up, agility, quick draw, and dead silence, and... Agility, well, first we'll start with focus. Focus, just obviously if you're in a gunfight, you won't be like going all over the place. It's it's really helpful. It's, uh, I forget what it's called. I don't know, whatever. It was something else in another game. And ready up, ready up helps you, after you're running, your gun pops up faster, so you have a better chance of like hip firing or even aiming down after sprinting. And then, then your uh, quick draw. Quick draw, oh no, agility's next. Agility is really good. If you're gonna play, play a different way. You can run a lot. It helps you get places faster, and you're just, you're quicker moving, so you move side to side faster. All that stuff helps. 
if you're in like important gunfights and stuff like that all this stuff is like because i play competitive competitives this is like the main stuff in competitive and then quick draw it helps you aim faster obviously it's gonna it's gonna be good because if you can uh, aim faster instead of like hip firing and all that stuff it's just gonna work better and dead silence is just because you know you have to have dead silence on it makes makes life a lot easier you don't hear yourself others can't hear you that well and it's really good so the way you use the Remington you can either play it one of two ways you can be aggressive like I do and I run around a lot you you move you obviously move around a lot more you normally get more kills unless you somehow really I don't know, not really good at it. You can usually win gunfights a lot better while you're moving around because it's just you get the chance to see him first and if you see him first and you catch him off guard then you'll usually win and you play you play a lot more aggressive. The bad things for this, you usually die a lot more because you are aggressive and you run into the, especially on smaller maps, you run into people with SMGs and you don't do as well. And if you're trying to hip fire somebody, it's just not as good. So you don't normally want to hip fire with the with uh, Remington, but if you have to, you have to. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And then there's another play style where you play play a lot more passively, and this is kind of kind of campy. It's not you don't have to be like super campy. Like I'm kind of explaining it, but you normally get those long range gunfights, medium long range gunfights that you're looking for because you you control one area and you know what you're looking for and what you're going to challenge. And then your gun's always ready to shoot. Like you're normally not gonna get caught off guard by sprinting because that's a lot of your deaths when you're playing aggressive. You get caught sprinting and then you just can't you can't kill them as fast. Oh, problem with this is you get a lot less kill and you play a lot slower. I don't like I don't like getting a lot less kills and I like playing faster. So yeah. So overall, this this is my favorite gun. I'm actually an AR and competitive, so that's why. I mean, it's obviously the best gun and that's what I use as an AR. I use the Remington. You sometimes have to use SMG, but whatever. And it's obviously one of the best guns in the game. That's why it's, everyone uses it. And not everyone, but it's a very common gun. If you pick a gun off the ground, you're going to find maybe a Remington somewhere. It's a very common gun. And it's just, it's a quality gun that you know you can, you can win gunfights with. And you won't be worried that it might not have enough damage. And it might just, it might not be the greatest. But... The Remington's really consistent. As you can see in this gameplay, a lot of people were using it. I got killed by a couple of Remington's. The final kill cams are Remington. It's not even me. So yeah, guys. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you can take these take these steps or take these advice and go with these classes. They should be pretty good. And I hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys have fun with your classes. And I will see you guys later.